Recently officials made a chilling discovery that forced Yellowstone National Park to shut down. Could this be a sign that the Yellowstone supervolcano, long thought to be dormant, is showing signs of life? What's happening beneath the surface could change everything. Let's find out. Park officials at Yellowstone have discovered unusual thermal activity in areas stable for decades raising serious concerns. This includes rapid changes in ground temperature, gas emissions, and ground deformation, all signaling significant underground events. These changes are happening in tourist-frequented zones once considered safe. Thermal features stable for over 150 years now show dramatic shifts. Ground temperatures have risen more than 10 degrees Fahrenheit within weeks, an exceptionally fast geological change linked to magma movement below. Gas emissions of hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide have increased in spots where they were previously low. These gases strongly indicate magma activity and potential volcanic unrest. Most alarming is the ground deformation. Satellite data and monitoring reveal that some park areas have risen several inches in just a few months. Such rapid uplift is unprecedented and suggests something major is unfolding beneath the surface. Park officials have closed affected areas as a precaution because the observed data is unlike anything seen in recent memory. What exactly is causing the ground beneath Yellowstone to rise at an unprecedented rate? Any guesses? Comment and chat with me. Stay tuned because understanding Yellowstone's explosive past might hold the key to what's unfolding beneath our feet right now. Yellowstone is not just any volcano, it's a supervolcano capable of massive, global destruction. It has erupted three times in geological history, each eruption causing catastrophic effects. The first eruption about 2,100,000 years ago at Huckleberry Ridge, ejected around 580 cubic miles of volcanic material, enough to bury Texas under three feet of debris. The second, about 1,300,000 years ago at Mesa Falls, produced 67 cubic miles of material and reshaped the local landscape. The most recent eruption, around 640,000 years ago, formed the Yellowstone Caldera with 240 cubic miles of material. These eruptions are terrifying for their vast impact. The last eruption spread ash as far as Louisiana, over 1,000 miles away. The ash cloud likely blocked sunlight over much of North America, causing severe climate shifts and possibly a volcanic winter lasting years. Scientists warn that if a similar eruption happened today, it would be about 1,000 times stronger than the Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980, which caused dozens of deaths and billions in damage. Such an eruption would impact not just the western US but potentially the entire continent and beyond. Scientists are closely watching Yellowstone due to a pattern of changes observed over several years. Recent discoveries by park officials are not isolated but part of ongoing shifts. Yellowstone experiences between 1,000 and 3,000 earthquakes annually, mostly too small to feel. In recent years both the number and strength of these earthquakes have increased. Many occur in swarms which often indicate magma moving beneath the surface. These earthquake swarms align with thermal changes recently found by park officials. When more earthquakes happen alongside thermal shifts and ground deformation in the same area, geologists pay close attention. Changes have also been seen in Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs. The famous geyser Old Faithful shows subtle but significant shifts in eruption patterns that scientists studying it for decades have noted. Other thermal features in the park behave unusually. Some hot springs that were stable for decades are getting hotter. New thermal features have appeared where none existed before, and some current features are changing color, signaling changes in the mineral content and temperature of their water. Ground deformation is monitored using GPS stations and satellite radar imagery. These tools detect elevation changes with great precision, sometimes less than an inch. Current data show a wide area of uplift, indicating that the magma chamber under Yellowstone may be expanding or receiving fresh magma from deeper within the Earth. Together these signs form a pattern that scientists carefully observe, recognizing that shifts in seismic activity, thermal behavior and ground elevation often link to volcanic processes beneath the surface. This ongoing monitoring helps understand Yellowstone's complex and dynamic nature. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming journeys. Experts are quietly discussing in scientific circles a pattern of warning signs at Yellowstone similar to those seen before major volcanic events elsewhere. Dr. Robert Smith, a seismologist who has studied Yellowstone for over 50 years, says current activity is unlike anything in his career. He does not predict an immediate eruption but notes the volcano shows unrest requiring serious attention. The main concern is not a catastrophic supervolcano eruption, which remains unlikely in our lifetime, but the chance of smaller volcanic events. 
These include hydrothermal explosions, where underground water rapidly heats and explodes, or smaller lava flows, both capable of causing damage and disruption. Even smaller events could have serious effects. A major hydrothermal explosion in tourist areas could cause casualties and force long park closures. Lava flows, while slow, could destroy infrastructure and change the landscape that millions visit yearly. The economic impact is significant. Yellowstone generates billions for nearby communities, which rely on tourism. Extended closures could harm these local economies. A bigger worry is what these changes might mean for Yellowstone's long-term stability. Some scientists fear early signs of a prolonged period of heightened volcanic activity lasting decades or centuries. Supervolcanoes don't erupt suddenly, their buildup spans years or centuries. The current signs may be the start of such a process, or just temporary adjustments before returning to calm. Science faces challenges due to limited historical data. Detailed monitoring began only in the 1970s, offering less than 50 years of records. This is like watching a human life for just minutes. Complicating matters, similar unusual geological activity is occurring worldwide. Scientists observe changes in volcanic and seismic activity globally, suggesting Earth may be entering a phase of increased geological activity. What's happening at Yellowstone is part of a global pattern of increased geological activity. Scientists worldwide are noticing more volcanic eruptions and earthquakes, suggesting Earth may be entering a period of heightened seismic and volcanic unrest. For example, La Palma in the Canary Islands recently erupted its Cumbre Vieja volcano for the first time since 1971. This event raised concerns beyond the local area. Scientists warn that a major collapse of La Palma's volcanic slopes could trigger a mega tsunami with waves hundreds of feet high reaching across the Atlantic to the eastern United States. La Palma's eruption shares some worrying similarities with Yellowstone's current condition. Both have experienced rising seismic activity, ground deformation, and thermal changes before major events. The difference is that La Palma erupted while Yellowstone remains in an early warning or precursory phase. In addition to volcanoes, earthquakes worldwide have been increasing in number and strength. Major quakes recently struck places considered low-risk, challenging current geological risk maps. In Alaska, a large unstable mountain slope above Barry Glacier could collapse in the next 20 years, generating a devastating tsunami. This event could harm hundreds and cause billions in damages, echoing Yellowstone's theme of accelerating geological risks from long-term processes. Scientists now see Earth's crust as an interconnected system, not isolated parts. Changes in one region may influence activity far away. Some experts suggest deep mantle processes might be driving simultaneous activity across volcanic and seismic systems around the globe. Climate change also affects this geological activity. Melting glaciers and retreating ice sheets reduce the weight on Earth's crust, causing it to rebound, a process called isostatic rebound. This can increase seismic and volcanic activity, especially in stressed regions like Yellowstone. Together, these factors show a complex picture of a planet undergoing significant geological changes that require close monitoring and study. To understand why the Yellowstone discovery matters, it's important to recognize the powerful forces of nature at work. Past unfortunate incidents at Yellowstone show how quickly natural conditions can become dangerous. In 1981, 24-year-old David Kerwin bravely jumped into the very hot Celestine pool about 200 degrees Fahrenheit to rescue his friend's dog. Though he was pulled out, he suffered severe injuries and passed away the following day. This story highlights how thermal features can pose serious risks. The recent changes in thermal activity near popular areas have raised concerns about visitor safety. In 2016, a 23-year-old Colin Scott accidentally fell into a hot spring near Pork Chop Geyser. The water's extreme heat and acidity caused fatal injuries before help could reach him. A recording of this event serves as a sobering reminder of the hidden hazards present throughout Yellowstone. While these individual incidents are deeply saddening, they are minor compared to the potential risks if Yellowstone's activity increases. The park welcomes over 4 million visitors annually, mostly during summer, when volcanic activity may rise due to seasonal factors. Emergency management teams are revising evacuation and response plans, but quickly moving millions of people from Yellowstone's remote areas poses a significant challenge. The existing infrastructure is not equipped for a mass evacuation of this scale. The economic impact of a major event would be considerable. Beyond immediate emergency responses, disruptions could affect transportation, agriculture and commerce over a wide region. For comparison, the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, much smaller than what Yellowstone might produce, caused over $1 billion in damage and disrupted air travel across the Pacific Northwest for weeks. Taken together, these facts illustrate that ongoing changes at Yellowstone represent an important concern for both public safety and the economy. 
The recent discovery at Yellowstone has consequences beyond human safety and economics. Yellowstone hosts one of North America's most vital and diverse ecosystems. Changes in geological activity could severely impact wildlife living in the park. Wildlife biologists report unusual behaviors in some Yellowstone animals. Animals are often more sensitive to geological changes than humans, serving as early warning signs. Some species are avoiding areas they once frequented, likely sensing subtle changes in ground temperature, gas emissions, or other factors undetectable to humans without instruments. Birds especially, seem affected by shifts in electromagnetic fields that can precede volcanic activity. This situation is worsened by existing stresses like climate change, habitat loss, and human encroachment. Adding geological instability may push some species beyond their ability to adapt and survive. Yellowstone's wildlife issues fit into a broader global pattern. Around the world unexplained mass animal deaths are occurring. In Russia hundreds of ravens fell from the sky simultaneously. Similar events have occurred in Italy, England, Ireland, New York, Indonesia, and India. In New Mexico, nearly 300 birds of various species died mysteriously. Professor Martha Desmond called the event terrifying and unprecedented. The birds appeared healthy before dying, suggesting disease was unlikely. Some scientists suspect these deaths relate to changes in electromagnetic fields caused by rising geological activity. Others point to environmental toxins or climate change. The timing of these events alongside increased geological unrest worldwide prompts questions about a possible link. The impact on Yellowstone's ecosystem could be profound. Increased geological activity may alter the park's thermal features which support unique microbial communities found nowhere else. These microbes provide insights into life's origins and hold promise for medicine and biotechnology. Thermal changes may also disrupt Yellowstone's hydrology affecting stream temperatures and water chemistry. This could harm fish populations and the entire aquatic food web. The famous Yellowstone cutthroat trout, already challenged by invasive species and climate change, could face new threats if their habitat changes further. Overall, ongoing geological changes at Yellowstone pose serious risks to wildlife, ecosystems, and unique biological communities that depend on the park's delicate balance. Don't miss out on important updates about Yellowstone and other natural wonders. Subscribe now and join our community of curious explorers. Understanding Yellowstone's activity requires advanced monitoring that few people see. The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory uses seismometers, GPS stations, thermal sensors, and gas detectors to track the volcano in real time. Recent data reveal important and concerning changes. Seismic patterns suggest magma moving several miles underground. GPS measurements show some park areas rising up to one inch per year, indicating pressure changes beneath the surface. Gas detectors report increased carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide emissions. These gases emerge when magma interacts with groundwater or releases dissolved gases while rising. Their patterns help locate magma movement and estimate its volume. Thermal monitoring from satellites and ground sensors shows temperature rises of 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit in spots stable for decades, signaling shifts in the heat source below. Despite high-tech tools, predicting eruptions remains very difficult. Volcanoes are complex, and warning signs vary. Sometimes signs appear before an eruption, other times the volcano settles quietly without erupting. Yellowstone's size and complexity add challenges. Its magma chamber is about 37 miles long, 18 miles wide, and 3 to 7 miles deep, an enormous, intricate system. Changes in one area may not affect others immediately. Moreover, Yellowstone operates on geological timescales hard for humans to grasp. Major eruptions happen hundreds of thousands of years apart. With less than 50 years of detailed monitoring, scientists face the challenge of understanding a long story from just a brief glimpse. Together these factors explain why Yellowstone requires constant vigilance and why forecasting its activity remains uncertain despite the best technology available. Given the uncertainties involved in predicting volcanic activity, emergency management officials have been developing plans for various scenarios, ranging from minor thermal explosions to catastrophic supervolcano eruptions. These plans reveal just how challenging it would be to respond to a major volcanic event at Yellowstone. For smaller events such as hydrothermal explosions or minor lava flows, the primary concern is evacuating visitors and staff from the immediate danger zone. The park has established evacuation routes and procedures, but these plans assume that transportation infrastructure remains intact and that there's sufficient warning time to implement evacuations. For larger events the challenges become exponentially more difficult. A major eruption could affect an area covering several states, potentially displacing millions of people and disrupting transportation, communication and supply chains across a huge region. The ash cloud from a major eruption could ground aircraft across much of North America and potentially affect global air travel for weeks or months. 
Agricultural impacts could be severe and long-lasting. Volcanic ash can destroy crops and contaminate water supplies. The 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia caused global climate changes that led to crop failures and famine as far away as Europe and North America. A major Yellowstone eruption could have similar global impacts. The economic consequences would be staggering. Some estimates suggest that a major Yellowstone eruption could cause over $200 billion in direct damage, not including the long-term economic impacts of climate change, agricultural losses, and disrupted global trade. But perhaps most concerning is the fact that there's really no way to prepare for a worst-case scenario adequately. The scale of destruction from a major supervolcano eruption is beyond anything that modern emergency management systems are designed to handle. The best we can do is monitor the situation closely, maintain updated evacuation plans, and hope that any major volcanic activity provides sufficient warning time for people to get to safety. The recent discovery at Yellowstone is a major step in understanding one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. Yellowstone is showing increased activity that demands serious attention, though a major eruption is not imminent. However, the chance of some volcanic event is higher than in recent decades. Visitors should stay alert, follow safety rules, and respect barriers. Yellowstone's thermal features are beautiful but also hazardous, so staying on marked trails is essential for safety. For scientists, this period is both challenging and promising. Advanced monitoring systems are offering new insights into supervolcano behavior. This knowledge will help predict and prepare for volcanic events worldwide. The increased geological activity seen at Yellowstone is part of a global trend of rising volcanic and seismic unrest. Understanding Yellowstone can help us better prepare for similar events elsewhere. These powerful geological forces are beyond human control. Our best response is to monitor closely, prepare properly, and respect Earth's dynamic nature. Yellowstone reminds us that the ground beneath us is never completely stable. Engage by sharing experiences in the comments. Have you visited Yellowstone recently? Did you notice anything unusual? What are your thoughts on global increases in geological activity? Do you feel concerned or think scientists are cautious? Subscribe to stay informed on Yellowstone situation. Updates will be shared as new information arises. Geological changes here affect everyone, and knowledge is key to readiness. Share this with park lovers and geology enthusiasts. The more people understand Yellowstone's changes, the better we can all face what lies ahead. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.